Welcome back to the channel. Thanks to my sponsor PCB Way. I finally started with a project I wanted to do a long time ago. I wanted to create a control pad for Home Assistant. But first, let's prepare the hardware and see what's possible. What I want in this place, see, cause everybody wanna tell you bad things. What could go wrong? What fame brings, but success is a finicky thing. And if you ain't sure, no, it'll never be. I don't wanna let myself down, myself down. In this control pad, I wanted to use keyboard switches and a rotary encoder. When everything's wired up, it's time to install ESP Home on the device. Here I'm installing a basic BIM file for ESP Home control pad. Nothing special in it yet. After you install the BIM file, you can adopt it. When you adopt it, you get the option to install it. You just skip and close. We just opened my trial and error file. Um, here I'm just testing what is possible in ESP Home. This varies from key switches to the rotary encoder to the display, the I2C display. This took a long time, um, change some code, save it, install it on the ESP32 and again and again and again and again. Here we're testing some of the code I made. When you press the button, uh, LED will flash. If you press the rotary encoder, the third LED will flash. The top LED is connected to the Wi-Fi signal. If you don't have Wi-Fi, it's off. If it's a good signal, it's blue. If it's a bad signal, it's orange. When I turn the rotary encoder, uh, the four flat will shine bright but the screen acted a little strange so I had to change the code again but all in all I was satisfied with the results and I think it was time to move on and get the PCB designed it's a PCB way for sponsoring this video PCBWay is best known for manufacturing PCBs, but they also do CNC machining, 3D printing and much more. Also handy is the PCB prototype assembly. Go check them out on PCBWay.com. I started out with some dimensions I thought was suitable for a control pad. So I designed them in Fusion 360, export them to DXF and then import them in my PCB design software.
After importing the DXF into the software, it was time to get every part aligned. If you like what I do and if you want to see more, please like this video and subscribe to my channel. It would mean a lot to me. And when we're finally done, the PCB looks like this. After looking at it for a few minutes, I decided to do it all over again. And then it will look like this. I started off with 10 by 10 centimeters and now it's 8.5 by 9 centimeters. I think I succeeded. Pay special attention to the LEDs, they are bottom mounted and they shine up through the PCB. And again, thanks to my Patreons. Like and subscribe where you can support me on Patreon. Thank you for watching and stay tuned for part 2.